Hello everyone, I am MS Gill, and yes, it's been a long time since I made a video. However, in it's probably because I've been moving in you know, a new place. Um, however, I did find something at my local thrift store in my new town here. And you're looking at it, this is a Compact Presario SR1811NX. It's got an AMD Sempron processor. Well, at least I think it does. I've never actually fired this thing up. Um, so it's going to be an adventure to figure out. Um, it's got all the stickers still all over it that uh, it uh, apparently came with, I think. 1394 port, two USB 2.0s, another USB 2.0 plus card reader. One's a light scrape DVD writer, which is kind of cool on its own. It says 160 gigabyte hard drive, but you'll see in a second why I question that. Uh, CD-ROM drive. Flip this bad boy around. It does run Windows XP Home, supposedly, according to the back. So you can see power supply, PS2 ports, parallel port, VGA, 1394 again, Ethernet, four USB ports, digital audio out, which is kind of cool. You don't see the coaxials in there very often. Um, and then your normal sound, it's all onboard audio. Uh, compact. And this thing, I think, is a wireless chip. That's why it says wireless right there. But, uh, I'm not 100% sure. And then, I think this is all TV, because that's a coaxial. And that's a audio out. It's audio in, AV in, S video. And... Too far. It says uh, blower, I think. Which is kind of a strange thing. Remote. Oh, I'm an idiot. Um, so I think that's a you know like TV card of some sort. Let me uh, open up the side real quick. Got to be loud. Got to be quiet. Man. Uh, Upstairs neighbors might not appreciate it. So there's those video cards. It's got two uh, hard drives. One's a Western Div Digital. The other one is Barracuda. Um, there's the drives. They're, s they're um, not SATA. Um, there is SATA ports in there, which is kind of cool. Um, Front panel removal instructions, which is kind of cool. Asus um, fan on there. Another fan. Probably sounding like an idiot, but you know. It's a Best Tech um, power supply. You can pause to read that if you want. Um, just kind of looks like a mess in there. Just kind of a. See, it's a ETI IXP450, is what it says right there. But I don't know what that means. I think that's the uh, motherboard information. Um, so let me, uh, let me get the camera on the tripod and um, we'll get this thing fired up. I'll get it all put together and uh, get a monitor on it. So I'll see you then. Alrighty, I just got this thing all plugged in. Uh, USB mouse and key and uh, PS2 keyboard. Um, are plugged in, got the monitor, just a simple VGA LCD monitor, so when everybody says smoke test, I say, uh, just turn it on. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. Ooh, that thing's loud. Compact, that's good. Oh, we got... Life. Sorry about the shaky camera, my tripod is kind of in a weird place. It's nice and quiet now. No mouse. Um, I did not plug in any speakers. Ooh, Windows XP. We got her. Let me uh, let me adjust 
um, screen settings and uh, and my mouse so that way I can get it working. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so got it all adjusted. Um, it goes. It recognized my monitor right away. Let's see what 800 by 600 looks like on camera. Uh, yeah, you might be able to read that better. Alrighty, so it may look ugly from my end, but by the way, I don't know if you noticed, this should be in 60 FPS. So, um, Compact Owner, mm, clever name. <laughs> It's got Audacity, Adobe Reader, uh, AOL Desktop, mmm, that's good. Uh, PowerPoint Viewer, Chrome, well, at least they had that. Uh, Netgear Genie, Microsoft Silverlight, Dino, whatever that means, Dino 2000. Um, Microsoft Broadband Network Utility, QuickTime, Bonjour, looks like Chrome is the default browser, so it doesn't look like they used AOL in a while. eBay. E eBay. I buy all sorts of stuff on eBay. User's Guide, Startup, uh, Sonic, My Digital Media Home or something like that, My DVD Plus. Snapfish, which I know comes with HP slash Compact products. Um, PC Doctor. Mmm. That looks good. Uh, Online Services Canada. That's weird. AOL Canada. I mean, this thing did a little bit of traveling, who knows. MSN Netscape Online, which I did pick up a copy of Microsoft Netscape, or not Microsoft, I'm an idiot. Netscape Navigator, or at the thrift store for two bucks, brand new in the box. Uh, in fact, the floppy disks were still sealed, but. Um, Microsoft Works, Stuff, HP, Hot Deals, mmm, semantic. Uh, more games. Accessories. Looks like whoever had this last really used the computer uh, quite a bit. Um, you know, over the years. It's something my grandfather would have. <laughs> Alrighty. So, um, let's see what else uh, this this thing can do. Um, looks like the DVD drive won't open. CD drive does does though. Oh, DVD drive open. Okay, so light scribe, DVD RW, it's kind of cool. Uh, now closing it was kind of a pain because I like to use the button, but apparently nobody else on Earth does. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's do some exploring in my documents. <laughs> I never ever do this with things you pick up in the thrift store because you never ever know what you're going to find in it. Let's see, nothing like that. Pictures, nothing. My videos, nothing. Wow, this guy sure. He probably erased it before he gave it to the thrift store. Just smart. You know, it could have been Granddad's PC at one point, you know, whoever. Um, so it looks like there's three hard drives. This one is probably the original. It's got 141 gigabytes, uh, 127 still free. This one's got 7 gigs, which is kind of strange. A new volume, which is probably the second hard drive we were seeing, which has 127 gigabytes still on it. Um, so, that's kind of neat. Compact recovery partition. Okay. So that's what's on there. Um, compact Rosario. All this stuff. Handle. Oh, wait, I don't have any sound. <laughs> Derp. Um, no remove the disks that I know of, unless there's one installed in the computer. Um, let's see. Okay, so I did, uh, did find my internet, which I don't know if you noticed the name of it, but it's kind of funny. My, my roommate picked that out, so. I'm going to connect this to my internet and see what happens. I don't even know, it's connected, what a kid. I think it is. Connect, please. Connect. Oh, that's tough. So yeah, it's kind of cool. Um, let's go... 
let's right click on my computer and see what happens. So it's registered to absolutely nobody. Um, 1.99 gigahertz, 1.18 gig of RAM, so two gigs. Um, which is great because it came with 512, so, um, well, one and a half gigs is what it should be. Um, so, let's see, automatic updates, no, I do not want automatic updates, notify me, but don't download, apply. I know, Microsoft, you hate me for that, but it's what I do. Hardware, let's see what the device manager has to say. Mutter. That's the name of the PC. USB devices, blah blah blah, human interface, uh, 1394, keyboard, nice modem. Oh, yeah, it does come with a modem in it. How exciting. Uh, one monitor here, network adapter. So it says that there's, it's got the Realtek AC97 audio. Kind of cool. Not bad, not bad. AMD Sempron processor 3500 plus, which I've never even heard of until I started researching this PC. Um, but like I said, I hadn't fired it up, so it's kind of neat. And it's nice to have one that's just kind of a mid range PC. Uh, I may wipe it and start over, but. So yeah, that's, uh, that's what's in there. Um, it's interesting that it didn't show up with the. Uh, the Oh, the TV stuff. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. Maybe it did. Maybe I'm just stupid. That's probably the case. Either way, um, it's kind of nice to... The ATI Radeon, okay, that was the display. Either way, that's kind of neat. It's pretty neat. And it's kind of cool. So it didn't connect to the internet. That's interesting. It was picking up all the networks, so that's something. waiting for network. Anyways, uh, let's see what else there is. There's of course Spider Solitaire. Um, I wasn't as, as a, you know, I didn't get quite as much good stuff as uh, um, Terabyte Coyote did. Uh, I don't know if you've ever watched this video on the Dell Dimension 2300. I think it was 2300. He, he found a great folder in there. Uh, <laughs> so that was fun. Um, let's see, let's go user accounts and see what what this last owner did. So it looks like just compact owner, which is kind of cool. Um, I wonder if there's any system restore points. Uh, let's see when, uh, when the last restore point was. See, to me it is kind of like a mystery, seeing what's, uh, seeing all this, uh, this stuff back in the day. Uh, you know, somebody else's computer and seeing whose it was. Okay. Let's go. Cancel. Let's go. Yeah, it's been ages since I did um, Windows XP. I love Windows XP. I used it for years, but for some reason I like to be behind the times or something. <laughs> let's see what the programs are that are installed. That weren't on the start menu. Adobe Flash with ActiveX. That's 15. What are we on now? Like, oh, is it 18? Adobe Reader XI, AOL Toolbar. Mm, that sounds good. You can't have enough of those toolbars. Bonjour, Audacity, Cyberview, Dino 2000, um, Java, Kodak Easy Share. Mm. Sounds like somebody who used this throughout the early 2000s. PC Doctor. That sounds good. Uh, Internet Explorer 8. So at least it did that update. So it's up to date, but it's still not the greatest. And it's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's something. Uh, system just, okay. I don't know. I'll figure out how to do a system restore point in one of these days. It's been a long time. <laughs> Alrighty, what else should we explore? Let's explore, let's see if we can get on the internet. I want to see how many toolbars they have. Obama uses racial slur. That sounds good. 
Can't wait to get into politics. It's interesting that it's not connected to the internet though. AOL.com. Hmm. I love how it freezes like that. It means it's good. Yes, connect. I don't know if we're going to get internet. Let's see what the home page on this was. Google. I I should have figured. And everybody knows of this. The game I suck at majorly. Oh, and like I said, I failed. Alright, um, so we're not getting any network. Whatever, I don't really care. Uh, let's see what this Netgear Genie is. As you can see, I do have like 10 different things I do on my computer at once. Let's go up to the top and see what, uh, oh, that's kind of cool. I don't know if you can see that, but... Sand, um, Azul, Bliss, good old Bliss, Crystal, definitely feels like I've been transported to about 2004. Info. Rhododendron, I love to say that word, Rhododendron. For those of you who don't know, is a type of flower. Stonehenge, Vortex Space, Wallpaper 1. Ooh, it's somebody's car. And you just have a license plate. That's good, I'll edit that out. Um, let's just apply that. Let's start over. Okay, we're better. That's that's good, that's that's much better. Windows XP, Zapotec. And it is on 3D pipes of one minute. And, ugh, irritating. I don't want the Zapotec. Go back. Let's get one of these on there. Kinda liking that. It is still fall, so... No, I don't want to be default browser. Which guys? You know that... I'm sure you've seen the meme, but it does prove a good life lesson. If Internet Explorer is not afraid to ask you to be its default browser, then you shouldn't be afraid to ask that girl out, and you can take that to the bank. Because I'm too chicken to do it. <laughs> Either way, um, this computer is a little bit better than I expected. Um, you know, a little bit more around town, whatever that means. Um, a little bit higher quality than I thought it might be. Um, runs good and it's really quiet, which is kind of nice. It was clean on the inside too, it makes you wonder why they just donated it. Uh, it only cost me 20 bucks at my thrift store, so I think the uh, pieces and parts are probably um, more uh, more expensive uh, to build one of these, so that's good. Either way, um, AOL toolbar, ooh, Google toolbar, 33 pop-ups blocked. Mm. It's November 13th. At least they have Netflix on there. MapQuest. Oh, that's ancient. TechCrunch. Radio. eBay. Mail. Autolink. 33 blocked. Search. With the old Google logo. <laughs> so this PC probably is kind of old with Bing. So you can have Bing, Google, and AOL do your searching for you. So they're all terrible. Let's see what this is. Advanced engine simulation, so they must have been, uh, we do have a racetrack in the area, so they must have been, um, do racing for stuff like that, I think. Um, let's see what's in, AOL desktop. Great, I'll grab my stuff. I'll look at AOL trying to be relevant, changing their logo. Sure. Okay. Not good. I'm, I'm good. Movie phone, free scan, PC checkup, my benefits. Yeah, they killed I am. Um, Egads, it's so sad. I'm gonna miss the 
aim even though I never really used it because my parents were like, hey, you need to stay off the internet. There's bad people out there. I'm like, yes, mom. <laughs> MSN and Carta standard on the internet that I don't have. Because the networking card is screwing up somewhere. It might be in the settings of Netgear. Uh, that's what I was trying to get to. Um, but other than that, uh, let's see. Is there any recent documents? No. Okay. Probably dumb and didn't find them, but uh, who cares. User guides. I went through all this already. Let's see what else there is, though. There isn't much on here. HP Music. Never heard of that one. And it's on the internet again. It's pretty much if you don't have internet, you're screwed with this PC. You make it happy. Except for Microsoft Office PowerPoint Viewer. Which I don't have any PowerPoint presentations, so... That's a thing. Uh, Microsoft Works. Word Processing. <laughs> it's just like Microsoft Word. Except we're different. Because Microsoft Word is good. View. Uh, toolbars. This is an interesting format. No. It's kind of neat. Ancient, but neat. I don't really know what else to do on this thing. We've already established it's got old Windblows XP, ATI Express Graphics, um, AMD Sempron, Windows XP Home. Which I may do something with this computer in the future, which I might do a video on. Um, maybe. It's kind of a neat PC. I, I've kind of, uh, I'm kind of intrigued about it. Um, it doesn't seem to be any other users on the PC. Uh, let's see. Let's log off. I hope everything's turning out okay. It should be in 60 FPS. Okay, so compact owner. That's all that exists. Makes me happy. So yeah. I guess that's all there is to it. Um, this has been MS Gill and exploring this wonderful PC that I picked up for $20. Um, I was hoping to get something older on my trip over there, but, you know, maybe next time. Maybe next time. Um, maybe I'll do some more tests on when I get some software. Maybe play a game or something on it and see what uh, what that's all about. Uh, maybe explore that little TV graphics card on the back. It seems like they may be able to record uh, using another computer, so. It's intriguing, so. Um, this has been MS Gill, and I am signing off, literally. <laughs>